Hi friends, in this lecture, we will discuss in detail about Terraform init command. The first command in Terraform, Terraform init. See, as we can see here, prepare your working directory for other commands. Terraform init command is the primary command that we need to learn when we start using Terraform. For example, I have a Terraform file, simple Terraform file, which will create a resource group with the name Terraform session three in East US. So I want to run this Terraform file. So to run this Terraform file, the first command I should use is Terraform init. Okay, without using Terraform init in the beginning, we cannot work with Terraform. Okay, but suppose uh, I have just started my code execution and I have not used Terraform init yet. Now let us use Terraform plan and see if it is working for us. See inconsistency dependency log file. Okay, so we have not used Terraform init here. So that is that is the reason it is showing some errors. Now we were in a location C user desktop Sunil desktop code. Okay. If we go to this folder, this is the location. Okay. We have only one file that is example file with TF extension. We don't have any other folders, any other files in it. Now let us use Terraform command. I have opened the folder here also. Now no, let us type Terraform init init. Terraform init command here. Now let us see what happens. It is initializing. It is initializing all the plugins and all those stuff. Yeah, it was successfully executed. Now, if we go to a folder, we can see one folder with dot terraform and one file with dot terraform dot locket Excel got created automatically after using terraform init command. The reason is once we use terraform init command, it will create this folder and this file in the in the in this in this location where we are executing the TF file. And this folder and this file will help us in executing other commands. So now Terraform has created a working directory in this location. In this location, Terraform has created a working directory so that we can execute all other Terraform commands like Terraform plan or Terraform apply and all those stuff. So now we can execute all other commands. Okay. Now we can in, in, now we can run Terraform plan command here, and we can see it will execute successfully. So once we start working with Terraform code in any any new folder, the first command we should use is Terraform init. The Terraform init. So for example, if we start working in any other folder, for example, if we go to a new folder and uh, start working in it newly, then we, we should also use Terraform init command in the beginning. Okay. So now Terraform plan has successfully executed. Okay. Uh, it has it has got successfully executed. It has got successfully executed because we have this file and this folder here present here okay for example if you delete both of these things the other terraform commands will not work so terraform init command will 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 make your folder a working directory to work with terraform once it becomes working directory then you can execute all other commands okay uh, without it becoming working directory you cannot execute other commands okay so now we have created now we have created terraform minute and we have run terraform plan also it is successfully fine and uh, now let us delete these two things i am deleting this uh, file and folder okay they got deleted okay now let us see if the terraform plan works no it's not working because we have deleted the required files that is one file and folder which are present and these files are required to run the commands Okay, now if you write if you run Terraform init again, Yes, 
now if we go to folder we can we can again we again got this file and this folder now if we go and run terraform plan again then it will work let us see It's taking some time. Yeah, it worked. So now we have observed the importance of uh, this uh, file and folder. Okay, when working with Terraform. So using Terraform init command will create this file and this file and this folder for us. Okay, so that we can start working with Terraform. For example, today I have started working with Terraform and use Terraform init and got this file and folder. Tomorrow, if I, if I come back to the same location, I no need to use again Terraform init again. No need to use Terraform minute again because we already have this file and folder, so we can start working with them. So, for example, if I go to new folder, for example, if I go to uh, new folder and we, we got a code there, okay, we got a file there with some code and we start we, we opened it using Visual Studio Code, open file, open folder, and uh, okay, new a new folder, uh, open it, open it, and uh, uh rename it so this is the new folder we have created and we navigated through the folder again in this folder first we need to use terraform init command to start working with terraform so any new folder okay once we started working with terraform first we need to use terraform init command once we use terraform init command afterwards it is not necessary as long as this file and this this file and this folder are present in 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 the location where we are executing no need to use again terraform init command guys these are the complete details of terraform init command thank you